Ayan, so, hello, good morning, naibala. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Matibay student. Welcome to another session of Matibay class. Oh, di ba? Pa-hyper, nagpa-hyper. Ewan ko na lang pag umabot tayo sa module 30. Wala na tayong boss. Wala na, sabog-sabog na yung boss. Wait lang, Mabintin, ha? Paalala lang, kailangan nilang panoorin ito hanggang sa uli. Bakit? Meron tayong pasabog. Oo. Hindi nila masasagutan ang connect kapag hindi nila ito pinanood. Hindi ninyo masasagutan ang ilalagyan namin sa Google Classroom hanggat hindi ninyo pinapatapos ito. Oo. At hindi kikita ang aming YouTube channel. Joke lang yun mga anak. Hindi yun importante sa amin. At hindi po yan. Hindi po ba yan ang YouTube channel natin? Yes. Ang importante ay nakakapag-share tayo na. Yes. And you can share this video to all your friends. Yes. Gaya ng sinabi ko sa GC namin last time. Mga barkada, walang problema. Kung may kakilala kayo na may mga ganitong subjects, feel free to share or i-share sa kanila yung good news dahil yun naman ang aming main objective. At kung nai-enjoy nyo itong mga anak, hayain nyo na ang mga grade 10 na mga kaklase mo doon ay mga ka-school mates nyo. Magsama-sama tayong lahat sa ating pinakamamahal na school. Andun si Ma'am Tintin, nagtuturo ng math sa buhay nyo. Andun si Sir Jason, nagtuturo ng math at science. Magulo silang dalawa sa buhay nyo doon. Anyway mga anak, pang patanggal ka ba lang yan? At pang pa-add pa rin dito ay masyado maboring ang topic For today is illustrating null and alternative hypothesis types of error rejection region. Rejection. Ikaw ba naman hindi magkakamali kung ganun pa ba pa 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 pa? And that is our world of 19. And favorite natin topic na to, bakit napakadali? Yes, napakadali. Napakadali, pero mag-enjoy pa rin tayo. Okay, and for module 19, We have, ilang objectives ang meron tayo? Ma'am, may tanong muna ako. Yes. Anong kinalaman ng mga daliri dyan sa ano, mga kamay na dyan? Dahil kapag hindi nila ito nasagot, <laughs> sasampal. <laughs> Char! It's a prank. <laughs> Sabi ko diba napakadali, sasampal oh, oh. nila nasagot. Ay, akala ko nag-ahay. Alam nyo na. Alam nyo na. Okay? So, for that topic, we have two objectives, Ma'am Tintin. First is to illustrate null and alternative hypothesis. So, sabihin ko na ako ng mga ibig sabihin niya. Sige, okay. mamaya, mamaya. Uh, number two is to describe rejection region and type 1 and type 2 errors in hypothesis testing. Region, ayan. So, yan ang ating mga Redion. objectives. Okay. Okay. First, define mo na natin kung ano yung hypothesis testing or hypothesis na sinasabi. Sir Jason? When we say hypothesis, is simple statement that something is true. Take note ah, dapat something is true. Yes. Example, Ma'am ah. Molina is beautiful. Oh. Is that a hypothesis? Opinion yun. It is a statement. Yes, it's okay. statement. Yes. Ends... If that is a statement, wala tayong pakialam yes. kung tawin yung ay kung mali sa panalaw ng iba. Yes. If that is true to you and that is already hypothesis. Yeah. It yes, is a tentative explanation. A claim or assertion about people, objects, or events. Or an assertion, sorry. Okay. Yeah. So that is hypothesis testing. And we have... Na. Ayan. Two types of hypothesis. Two types of hypothesis. Una is statistical hypothesis. It is an assumption or assertion made on the distribution of a population which is either true or false. Oh, Kagaya yung sinabi mo kanina, it can be true or it can be false. false. Okay. Second one is the hypothesis testing. It's a, a statistical procedure in determining which hypothesis is more acceptable as true or which hypothesis is more likely to, to be, be false. false. Ayan. Okay. So, para mas maintindihan natin, ayan. Yan, yan pa lang yung types of hypothesis, Ay, sorry. kapatid. Yan pa lang yung types of hypothesis natin. First is our null hypothesis. Ang oh, tinatawag natin? Ho. 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 Ayan. Ho. It is represented Ho. by Ho. H na malaki at letter O na maliit. And Ho. when we talk on null hypothesis, this expresses the idea of no existence, existence. of yes. relationship or difference between the variable under study. This is usually designated by a not or no term. Ayan. Take note of the word no, no existence <laughs> relationship or difference between the variable under the study. So here's an, here's an example. <laughs> <laughs> Ayan. There is no significant relationship between the attitude of students towards their subject and their performance rating at the end of the semester. May naalala ka sa topic na yan? 
<laughs> Yan yung topic natin, ma'am, na inupuan tayo yes, ng principal. Yes, na, na binisita tayo ng principal sa ating oh, mga kanya-kanyang classroom. Okay, nakakamiss ang face-to-face. Mm-hmm. Actually, ma'am, kapag na-live po, sila magbibigay ka ng dalawang statements. Yes. Okay, so yan. Mamaya na lang yun, ma'am. Uh, basta tandaan, kapag sinabing null hypothesis, no ang keyword natin is, there is no significant relationship. Yung word na, no significant relationship. O, diba? Walang kinalaman ang, ang attitude, attitude ng isang estudyante towards, towards their subject and their performance, performance rating, rating at the end of the semester. And that is an example of null hypothesis. Okay. Second type is? Kapag yun, ma'am, no significance. Kapag sinabi naman nating alternative hypothesis o ha! Ganun. <laughs> Pagulat. <laughs> Kapalitaran. <laughs> This is the opposite of the null hypothesis. Meaning to say, ma'am, there is a significant relationship between the variables. Okay? It states that existence of relationship or difference. Okay. So, there is. Ano? There is. Mm-hmm. Here's an example. There is a significant relationship between the attitude of students towards their subjects and their performance rating at the end of the semester. Uh, so, kung kanina walang kinalaman ang ugal ng isang estudyante so, sa kanyang performance, performance rating, rating, ngayon naman, dito meron. sa meron. Okay. okay. So, I hope nakita ninyo yung difference. Napakalinaw. Uh, so, ibig sabihin, kapag null, Jason is handsome. Kapag <laughs> alternative, <laughs> I is not handsome. Ganon. Ganon. <laughs> Ganon. Ayan. Ayan. And na. meron din tayong tinatawag na one-tailed and two-tailed test. Okay. Kapag one-tailed, bayo. Ano sa bayo, si Lucano? Yung papuntang frog. Ah, tagpo. Tag- <laughs> <laughs> Joke bayo. lang, guys. Okay. One way of determining the type of test used in hypothesis testing is based on how the alternative hypothesis is formulated. A one-tailed test is used when the alternative hypothesis is directional. Yan pala yung term, ma'am. Ibig sabihin yun, ma'am, may greater than, may less than, may more than, may... O may going upward, may equal, mga ganon. Meron siyang direction na binigay. Which means that the value of the measures is either greater than, nasabi ko nga, or less than, and the other measure. Okay, so yun yung palatandaan. One-tailed ka agad. One-tailed directional. Okay. Two-tailed, ma'am. Kapag directional yun, naulaw ang two-tailed. <laughs> <laughs> one-tailed test. Okay. So, one-tailed test is a test hypothesis for which the rejection re- region lies at only one tail of the distribution. Mm-hmm. One-tailed test is classified as a left-tailed test uh-huh. or right-tailed test. If the population mean is less than the specific, specified value of our mean, then it is a left-tailed test for which the alternative hypothesis can be expressed as mean is, ano tawag dito sa symbol na to? Less than our mean sub-zero. It is a right-tailed test if the population mean is greater than the specified value of mean sub-zero for which the alternative hypothesis can be expressed as mean, mean. is Less than... Greater than yan, ma'am. Ay, sorry. Greater than mean sub-zero. Sub zero. Okay. Siyempre, laging... Kapag left, laging negative yan. Yes. Number Kapag line. Right, o, oh, yung number Lagi line natin. Plus. Tandaan lang lagi yung number line. Okay. So, that is the difference of... I want to test one tail mo na yan. Okay. Kung ang one tail ma'am, ay directional. Sabi nga yung left and right. right. Okay. okay. Pwede naman greater than or less than. When we talk on two-tailed test, mga anak ko is used when the alternative hypothesis is non-directional, which means that the value of who measures of the same kind are, are not, not equal. equal. A total test has a not equal sign in the alternative hypothesis. When the population mean is not equal to a specified value of mean sub-zero, then the alternative hypothesis can be expressed as mean, oh, bahala na dyan. is not equal to, to mean, mean sub-zero. sub-zero. A total test uses a hypothesis, uses a hypothesis test for which the rejection region lies on both end tails of distribution. Okay. So, non-directional po siya. They are not Ulitin lang natin, ma'am. one tail test, directional. directional. two tail test, non-directional. non-directional. Kapag alternative, ano yun, ma'am? Alternative, there is a significant relationship. Yes, kapag null, there, there is, is no none. significant okay. relationship. So, yun lang po. Yan na po ang ating tatandaan. Because of that, let's proceed on our examples. examples. Ayan, ma'am Tintin. 
For our first example, aalamin natin kung anong klase siyang hypothesis. Kung alternative hypothesis ba or null hypothesis. But then again mga anak, take note na kapag sinabi natin alternative hypothesis, there is a significant relationship. Yes, while on the other hand, kapag sinabi naman natin null hypothesis, there is no significant relationship. Maliwanag yun. Maliwanag na maliwanag. Okay, let's have our first example. Okay? Ayan. Sabi sa problem, ma'am. Identify natin if it is null or alternative, ano? There is a significant difference between the mean monthly allowance of all students of Araulio University and students of University of Pangasinan. Mas malinaw pa sa buwan, ma'am Tintin. Yes. Okay, if you analyze the problem, or even if, if you will notice the problem, wala po siyang nakasulat na word na not or none. Yes. Ibig sabihin, kapag ganyan, there is a significant Ang answer is alternative uh, hypothesis ka nga. Yes. Question, Sir Jason. Since yes. alternative hypothesis yan, paano natin siya gagawing null hypothesis? Okay, ang galing ng question. <laughs> Since alternative yan, okay, gagawin natin siyang null, null hypothesis. Sabi mo kanina ma'am, pag sinabi natin null hypothesis, lalagyan lang natin siya ng not. Okay? Uh -huh. Ibig sabihin, ang null hypothesis ng problem na yan is there is no significant relationship or there is no significant difference between the mean monthly allowance of all students of AU and students of UPANG. Naging nal na siya ma'am because of the word there is no. Alternative siya sa taas because wala po siyang no. Dahil may significant okay. difference sila. At naging now siya dahil meron na sila, eh there is no significant relationship. Oh, mas maliwanag pa yan sa buwan, ha? Yes. Okay. How about Dali. another example? Another example. Wow. Second example. Basa, wala Ayan. na akong boses. Wala na akong boses. <laughs> TV viewing has no significant oh. effect on the academic performance of freshman business students in the University of Iloilo. Ang sasagot dyan. Yes. Tapos ako magtatanong sa'yo. Ah, okay? I think the answer for that because of the word no is a null hypothesis. What? Yes! Tama ako, yes. <laughs> wow, tama. Ang galing. And I have a question to you. Yes. Since that problem is a null hypothesis, ma'am, will you please make that problem as alternative hypothesis? Alang, hira. Bakit di ko alam? <laughs> siya dahil dito meron siyang sinabing no significant effect kapag ginawa natin siyang alternative yan TV viewing has significant effect on the academic achievements of college freshman business students at the University of the Philippines ayan University of Iloilo kasi oh Iloilo mali naman yung pinagkopyan natin oh so okay lang yan <laughs> uh, basta ang importante meron siyang significant effect kasi alternative ang pinag-uusapan natin. Oh, so, malinaw tayo, ma'am, sa null and alternative. Yes! I think wala tayong problema doon. <laughs> yes, let's okay. proceed. On our next slide. Yes, next Decide slide. Na, oh, gusto ko yan. Ay! One-tailed nga ba or two-tailed? Oh, balikan mo na natin yung definition. Kapag one-tailed, ibig sabihin directional siya. Yes. Ibig sabihin meron siyang direction. Ano yung mga directions natin? Left, right. Greater than, less than. Basta it has anything to do with... Younger than, yes. ano pa, basta, pa, basta. With numbers, with anything. Oh, basta, ganon. man direction. At kapag sinabi namang two-tailed, there is non-directional. Non-directional statement siya. Direction. Okay, so let's see. Our first problem. Ayan. There is a significant difference between, because of the word between, the average scores of, of two, two samples. samples. So, ano ibig sabihin yan? One between tail is tail. never... A direction. Yes. Okay. Therefore, Ibig sabihin, dahil wala pong direction dyan, the answer is two-tailed. Two-tailed two test ang ating gagamitin. Yes. Second example, o oh, yun lang, kasi ang instruction is identify whether it is one-tailed or two-tailed. No, wala natin pag-alang sa iba. Second, the sample is significantly younger than the rest when they kung got married. Kung makabasa ka naman sa younger naman. <laughs> kasi binibigyan natin ng diin. Emphasize. Okay. Binibigyan ano sa'yo diin? Diin? Mm -hmm. Emphasize. Oh, sa akin, caps lock. Well, yun, okay? Again, okay. The, the sample as in, is significantly younger than the rest when they get married. Ayan, dahil meron siyang 
sinabing younger, mas younger bata, than. mas mababa, uh-huh. ibig sabihin, siya ay merong direction. Therefore, it is a one tail best. <laughs> Siguro, yung mga naka-headset nilalayo nila yun. Sige, tatanggalin yung ano, earphones. <laughs> And malinaw na po tayo sa yes. one tail or two tail. Yes. Last example. Oh, last example. Ako na magbasa. Tapos ikaw wag paliwa. Ano ba? Hindi ko alam yan. <laughs> okay. The manufacturer of a certain brand of cigarettes claims that the average nicotine content does not exceed 2.5 milligrams. Ngayon not naman exceed. mga anak, Ia-identify natin ang kanyang null, okay. ia-identify natin ang kanyang alternative, okay. at ia-identify natin ang kanyang hypothesis testing. Okay. And take note, okay, ma-identify lang natin ang hypothesis testing ng isang bagay kapag ha. Yes. Okay. Okay. Kapag ho, wag mo nang ano, alamin. Okay. <laughs> alamin ba rin natin? Ay, ba rin natin? Uh, unahin natin si ho. Okay. The manufacturer of a certain brand of cigarettes claims that the average nicotine content does not exceed 25 milligrams. Okay, so balikan natin yon. Balikan natin kapag sinabi nating ho, there is no significant. Ibig sabihin, wala siyang kinalaman sa dito problem. sa ating problem. Okay. So it is very important na kailangan maintindihan mo itong ating problem. Sabi niya, the average nicotine content does, does not, not exceed. exceed. Ibig, Ibig sabihin, sabihin, equal siya. Hindi siya tataas. tataas. Okay. okay, hindi siya tataas. So, identify uh, our ha. So, I our ho. Our ho. ho. Sorry. Okay. Since does not exceed ang sinabi niyan, uh, our ho is the average nicotine content of cigarettes is 2.5 milligrams. Okay, uh, uh, ibig sabihin. Ang ho natin is, sabi niya dyan, mean is equal to 2.5. Sinabi natin, there is no significant so wala, relationship. So, wala na siyang kinalaman sa problem. Wala siyang kinalaman sa problem. Sabi niya, sa problem does not exist. Sabi niya sa ho, equal. Kasi nga, wala siyang kinalaman. I also have a problem dyan. Yes. Sabi po sa ating problem, does not exist. Mm-hmm. What if mo mang gusto ko, the average nicotine content of cigarettes is greater than 2.5 yes. milligrams. Pasok okay, pa pasok pa rin siya. Pasok pa rin siya. Oh. So anything na mag exceed or mag equal sa 2.5 is under ng oh. null. Or okay, okay. maliwanag po yun ha. Yes. Okay. Next, same problem tayo. Para Kukunin, mas maliwanag. Uh, okay. Kukunin naman natin ngayon ang ating ha. Ayan. Ha, again, it had, uh, it had a significant relationship sa ating problem. Sabi niya dyan, does not exceed. So, ibig sabihin, hindi lalagpas sa 2.5. So, ibig sabihin, kapag hindi lalagpas, ang ating ha ay, ayan, the average ne- nicotine content siya. of cigarettes is less than 2.5. Kasi nga, does not exit daw kay 2.5. And since alternative siya, ma'am, okay, pwede natin alamin kung one-tailed ba yung problem or two-tailed. Yes. Okay. So, alamin natin. Okay, since meron siyang direction, ibig sabihin, the problem is... Oh, wait lang, wait lang. Medyo mabagal yung slides natin. Ay, may pa. The problem is... One-tailed test. Or, or since less than, okay, tinatawag siyang... Left tail test. Totoo ma'am yung sinabi yes. ko. Ang kailangan lang, sa hypothesis test ma'am, ang kailangan lang natin pakialaman ay si ha. Yes, okay? si ha. Ang kinitest po natin doon ay si ha. Since ang ha natin is less than, ibig sabihin, yes. left tail test siya at one tail test. Yes. Okay, I think so very, very clear. clear. O may, may sasabihin ka yata sa attendance nila. Ayun, for our attendance. At nakalimutan mo yata yes. ilagay dyan. For our attendance. Sabihin mo na lang ma'am. Ayan. For our connect or our attendance, go to your Google Classroom and answer the questions. Take note of the question. What have Have I learned? learned? Yes, okay. In our subject this week. Again mga anak, uh, what have you learned on our subject this week? Again, ilalagay nyo yan sa ating connect section on our GCR and that will serve as your attendance this week. Ibig sabihin oh. ng mga tindin, kapag hindi nila tinapos ang video discussion na ito, <laughs> wala, wala silang, silang attendance this week. Okay. And because of that, maraming maraming salamat, students, okay? Lagi yung tatandaan na magiging mahirap ang mga susunod na araw. Magiging exam naman yan. O oh, may mga times na malungkot tayo, then that's okay. Lahat yan ay kakayanin natin mga anak dahil lahat tayo ay hashtag Matibay! Bye. 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 Sana hindi ka nabili. Bye-bye. <laughs>